I'd actually never heard of Vertigo until I came to the trade show today. It's a German company. Checked out their VCA compressor. It's an absolutely awesome sounding mix bus stereo compressor for uh, you know a, a mix bus or drum overheads or any sort of stereo source. It's just brilliant. It sounds terrific. Uh, you got to check it out. Uh, Alex is going to talk to you about that and another one of their products. So this compressor is using four discrete VCAs. Uh, in stereo mode, you only have to control the A controls. All Bs are switched off. So it's very easy to use. You don't have a wrong setting like a different attack time maybe on the B channel. You can forget about all that stuff. You can, uh, the soft mode is something special. You have uh, an automatic ratio from going from 1 to 1 to 8 to 1. And it's, um, it's controlled by the input level. So uh, it's, it's the setting if you don't want to hear the start of the compression. That's often a problem with, with other compressors. You can change the ratio and the gain reduction stays the same. So that means you can compare the knees and find the best sounding knee for, for the music. Um, we only use the best components. It's all this uh, American Greyhill switches, the best pots, and this Japanese switches. No integrated circuits? Uh, they are integrated circuits, but we only use them... Uh, not in the, the actual VCA. Not in the actual VCA. We only use them for the uh, detector. Right. So, well, I gotta tell you, that's really transparent sounding. That's a really good sounding mix bus compressor. It could be used, but that sounds great on drum overheads. It's yeah, it's mainly used uh, for, for drum bus use and for mix bus. And all. into this box, you can plug in compressors, equalizers, whatever DSs. So you have two inserts. These two inserts can be put to left, right, or to MS. So if you put this one to MS and you put your compressor into mono. You immediately have this one as uh, compressing the M signal and this one the side signal. And uh, if you don't like it, you just get back with two switches and you're back in the conventional stereo. Uh, back to MS, you can also engage the parallel compression knob and can blend it. So you can have parallel compression in MS and left right. Cool. Um, the same here, you have a conventional stereo with control it's a very common feature for mastering studios and also the same like left right or ms and in this field also there's a, a solo function where you can solo the m and the s the two other sections um, that's something really new because um, you can for example you can create second harmonics with this one the third one uh, third harmonic with this one. This uses a, um, a FET circuitry and this will uh, a scene of dire circuitry. Um, what you can do is, you can say for example, I only I grab the signal only from M and I only want to go the low frequencies going into the circuit. So you, you color, you saturate or you limit or you distort, it depends on how high your drive is. Uh, only the low end from the M signal. You can filter the output of it to get rid of higher distortion products. If it gets some gritty or something. Mm -hmm. If you have a mix, it's very similar to the... Uh, it's a crossfader between tri and red, yeah? And you have a level. You can, just like a multiband compressor, you can put in your new saturated band on a new level. Mm -hmm. And it's the same function here, but completely different sound. Producing right. only pure third harmonics. 